Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an auto number field to a table in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in order to create an auto number field on a table, the first thing that you want to do is search for number in the filter navigator. Next, you wanna click on number maintenance. This is going to bring you into the sys underscore number table where you can see all of the auto number fields that exist in ServiceNow. Now to create a new auto number field, you wanna click on the new button and you wanna go ahead and fill out this form. Now in this tutorial, I am going to be creating a new auto number field on a custom table that I'm using for a custom application. So here you wanna go ahead and search for the table that you want to add this auto number field to. Now my table is called invoices, so I'm gonna search for and select that table. Now, if your table does not already have an auto number field, then just selecting it here is going to create that auto number field on that table. Next, you wanna go ahead and put in a prefix. Now, this is not required. Essentially, what the prefix is, is it will precede the automatic numbering. So in ServiceNow, incidents, for example, start with INC. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and enter INV for invoices. Next, you wanna go ahead and select the base number for your auto number field. Now you can see here that the default is 1000. Essentially what this means is this is what the number will start at. Now in my example, I want my number to start at 8000. So my auto number field will be INV 8000. And the last step is to go ahead and select the number of digits that you want this auto number field to have. Now, by default, it's going to be set to seven. And what ServiceNow will do for you is if your number does not contain seven digits, it will automatically add leading zeros to your auto number. Now, once you've completed this, you wanna go ahead and click Submit. And you can see here the message that says added new column number. And if I go ahead and click into this here, you can see that this has been created. Now, if I wanna click into the table and actually see what this looks like, I can click on the little information icon and click open record. And this is going to bring me into my table definition. Now, if I scroll down, I can see a list of columns here. And if I scroll down again, I can see here the column that was just created called U number. And you'll notice this is a string type column. And ServiceNow even added JavaScript into the default value to just make sure that this number automatically increments. Now it's important to note that this script is going to renumber records when the number of digits is updated. Um, if you want to have your auto number field not automatically renumber records when the number of digits is updated, then you're going to need to actually modify this default value. All right, so now what I've done is I've gone into my invoice application and just to demonstrate the auto numbering field, I'm gonna go ahead and click new. And you can see here that a field was added to my form that automatically generated my invoice number and it starts with the prefix INV and it has added a leading zero, and then it has added the number starting at 8,000. Now I'm just gonna close out of this, and if I click on new once more, you can see here that the number is updated automatically, it's incremented automatically, and even though I didn't save the previous record, it still incremented the number. So that's it, this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create an auto numbering column or field in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acobalis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.